All right, what's going on, YouTube? Crazy NC Man back on the airwaves after five years off. The last I looked today, the last video I uploaded was five years ago. I know the channel went in some crazy direction. People didn't like a long time ago, but anyways, I just wanted to make a video today to um, one say hello, see who's still out there. Uh, we've been through a crazy couple years with the whole COVID nineteen pandemic. And uh, so I hope everybody's doing well. I hope no one, none of your loved ones or yourself were affected by it too bad. I did know not people personally close to me, but um, people close to people around me who, who did die from it. Uh, so it was pretty serious. Um, I had it twice myself. First time was really scary because uh, as you guys know, a lot of you know, I have really bad lungs. And... Um, Thankfully, my doctor kicks ass because she's like, you know, I got tested the day after I got it. And then a few hours later, I was having a monoclonal antibody treatment, which worked fantastic. The next day, I was better. Um, don't know why that wasn't the treatment of choice because it works really good. I can attest to that. And then I had it um, a year later, which was probably... Um, back in February, because it was my birthday, I had it again. And the the uh, after a year, the monoclonal antibodies were still they were still working, because I had symptoms for about six hours, and then I was better. So, anyways, um, I hope everybody's doing all right. I hope you weren't affected by this in a in a really bad way. Uh, but it's been a rough couple years for all of us, and now we're into this whole new. We don't even want to get into what's going on in this country because it's a total shit show. Uh, so it's it's a rough time. But anyways, uh, I wanted to make this video for a couple reasons. Just say hello, see who's still out there. And um, the other reason I wanted to make it is because there's one thing I never got out of the Crazy NC Man channel. And I was like, this freaking close is I never got a play button. And I know that's kind of a stupid thing to want. But, you know, I, I put a lot of effort into this channel for many years. Almost, what, seven, six, seven years? Um, and I was at 99,200 subscribers or something, and you got to get 100,000 to get your play button. So I never got one. So I thought I'd post this video just to see what people think. Uh, how can I get my damn play button? Because <laughs> I'd really like to have it after all that effort. But anyways, um, yeah, update on me. Um, when COVID started... Uh, I was working for a Red Bull distributor. This is back in March of uh, March of 2020, and um, they said, you know, if you have a medical reason where you don't want to be working, be out in public, bring a doctor's note. So I consulted my doctor, and she's like, yeah, we don't we don't know what's going on. We don't know what this COVID stuff is. You've got bad lungs. You don't need to work. So I was taken out of work by my doctor. Um, had two months leave at, at Red Bull, which was really nice. But after that, they started pressuring me to come back to work. My doctor was like, no, you're not going back to work until, you know, we know what's going on. So long story short, I wound up resigning from work and just, um, stayed at home for like a year. It was really, it was rough. It was, um, it was not a, a good thing, you know. Uh, like I said, none of us knew what the hell was going on. Um... So it was tough. But anyways, after about a year, and you can hear all the, you can hear the wind and stuff in the background, and if you know anything about boats, you know I'm coming to you from my boat. Uh, so anyways, while COVID was happening, you know, I stayed at home. I don't have a TV, don't have cable, so I watched a lot of YouTube. And somewhere along the way, the um, a sailing channel came across my, uh, my feed. And being from New England, I've learned to sail when I was a kid and you know we were always on the the water in some way shape or form um yeah it came across uh some channel came across my feed it's this couple that lives on a boat and I was like wait a minute this is, sounds pretty cool and at that point I was like you know the cold COVID thing and going stir crazy at home and my age you know it's not too long so I'll probably retire uh, I was like, you know what, I, I, need, I need to buy a sailboat. <laughs> I need to go live on a sailboat. I'm going to go look around and, you know, try to live on a sailboat. So, um, March, maybe February, March, 
of last year, I think it was February, I started looking for a boat. <clears throat> I started getting out because I was like, I'm over COVID. I'm over this whole mass thing. I'm a, and I took off to Florida and started looking for sailboats. And um, just, you know, you guys know me. I get something in my head and I'm going to do it. Just like all these crazy ideas that have come across this channel. So eventually in April, uh, I was kind of dejected because my dream of having this big sailboat to sail the world on was uh, becoming a reality that I don't have that kind of money and I was on my way home and the one of the first boats I had looked at on Craigslist was this boat but it's the last boat I looked at because it's really small it's not you know I'm not gonna sail to the Bahamas I'm not gonna sail to South America on this boat I mean I could with a lot of work and a lot of money but it's not the dream giant sailboat I wanted but anyways uh, April of um, Last year, I, I bought this boat and I moved on it right after I bought it. Uh, I did a lot of work to it. I rewired the whole thing. The electrical system was shot. Anyways, we won't get into that. But I, um, so I lived on it till the winter and then I went home for the winter and um, decided I'm gonna, once the weather warms up, I'm gonna sell everything I own get rid of my place. Eli's going to have to find his own place, which he finally did. And, uh, yes, I sold everything I own. I have my boat, my car, my guitar collection, which, you know, my brother's hanging on to me for, uh, hanging on, hanging on to it for me. I've got two guitars here. Uh, and I'm back to living on a boat on the intracoastal waterway of North Carolina. Uh, any of you in the area, I'm actually in Washington, North Carolina, up on the Pamlico River and it's it's been adventure it's been fun um i thought maybe trying to swing the channel in this direction to the sailing live aboard life but i didn't film any of the um the stuff i did to this boat because i did a lot of work i worked on it for two months before i put it in the water um it's completely self-sufficient other than i have a right now i have an extension cord running to the shore power so i can charge my laptop which i just bought <laughs> yesterday because I, I was tired of not being able to do things uh i had a tablet that's what i used to watch tv and um you know do my banking and stuff and it was just a real piece of junk so finally bought a computer and then that's when i decided to break out my cameras now i got a way to edit a video I got a way to upload a video. Um, yeah, I got my own internet finally because the internet sucks here at the marina. But anyways, um, yeah, I just thought I'd put it out there. What what the what the hell should I do to gain eleven thousand subscribers and get my play button? Or should I just make videos for me like I did back in the day? You know, when the channel first started, it wasn't about anything, but we're just goofing off and having fun, and it kind of grew from there. But I really would like that play button because I worked damn hard for it. And in today's YouTube, 100,000 subscribers not nothing, but back in the day when I was doing it, um, it was a lot of work and it was a slow progression. I, I, I was actually looking through my channel today of when I got partnered in 2013. You know, when the channel started, when I got partnered the ups and downs of the revenue and the craziness of the videos and the, the rants and raves. I looked at all that today and it was, it's been quite an enjoyable trip and I'd like, I don't want to get back into it to where it like consumes my life, but it is kind of neat living on a boat here on the river. Um, I have a lot of fun. There's a lot of weird shit goes down at the marina, <laughs> you know, and sitting around drinking all day. That's one of our favorite pastimes but it's a beautiful place uh, I enjoy it it's not an easy life so but those of you guys who like uh, camping hiking boating it's really different to live on a sailboat especially a 27 foot sailboat as you can see this is the camera is up in the <laughs> the bow of the boat and that's the grand the grand uh, you know the grand cabin behind me it's a very small modest life um i s generate all my own electricity with the exception of 110 power which i'm going to change uh here in the next couple months to where i can generate my own 110 power via my solar panels uh, i don't want to be hooked to the shore power like everybody else because it's too easy just to plug in and have air conditioning and tv and 
you know, I, I run off solar panels all the time. I have since last April. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Say hello. I'd love to hear how uh, everybody's doing. You still in the airsoft? Um, I know it's still going on because I have friends that are, are still doing it. And I've watched some of the bigger channels and some of the channels that came along when I was doing it. People are still doing it. But anyways, leave a comment. Say hello. What the hell should I do with this channel? Should I just do my own thing? Uh, cheers to all you people out there that supported this along the way. It was a, it was a fun time. It was a crazy time. Um, but basically, it was just a lot of fun and met a lot of good people along the way. So cheers to y'all. Post a comment. Share this video. And uh, let people know Crazy NC Man's still alive. I'm a little older and, <laughs> you know, a little worse for wear, but still here. Cheers.